Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared and today we are checking out this new AM8 knife. Now these are made by Miguron and this is, I'm just now opening it with you guys for the first time. Ooh, let me back this camera out. Um, already I can tell I I'm liking this thing quite a bit. M390 steel. And it has a clip point blade. A straight clip point, which I do like a lot. This is going to be great for utility cuts. Beautiful sharpening choil and plunge grind. Great job on that. And then very neutral handles. Um, I love the way Migoron does their titanium and milling. We have a titanium backspacer, good access to the lock bar. Whew, very smooth. The thumb studs do not have any texturing on them, but they work great. At least so far, let's try the reverse flick. Oh yeah. So the placement of the thumb studs makes it to where you really don't need any texturing on these. Now I would disagree maybe on other models, but on this model, the thumb studs work great um, because you have this chamfer along the edge that allows your hand, your thumb to drop down in there and you get a good launching point. So yeah, great thumb flick, great reverse flick. You got the choke up spot right there. This is very comfortable like that. And then we have this flipper tab. Now the flipper tab looks a little boxy, but let's try it out. Yeah, I mean, it works good. Good leverage. As you can see, it's far above the pivot, the center of the pivot. So it has a great leveraging point. It is a little boxy, but the action's great. It flies out there. You kind of want to just rest your finger right on top and do a light switch. It's not a push button. But you could push off. Um, but it, it likes a light switch a little bit better. And it does have a little bit of jimping up there on the flipper tab. Now, this blade and geometry gets down nice and thin behind the edge. And they did do a good job on this edge. That was one thing that uh, I thought they needed to improve on a little bit. This one's pretty good. I love the sharpening choil and plunge grind. Now, the ergos. I'm a little separated from the edge, but this is super comfortable right here, especially with my thumb on the spine. It's very neutral, very comfortable, a little blocky, but not bad. Um, I could totally pop straps like this. The choke up spot. Um, yeah, I could get a ton of leverage through that. This is a good one. I'm liking this one quite a bit. Um, like I said, a little bit boxy. The flipper tab is a little squared off. I do kind of wish the flipper tab had a chamfer on this edge a little bit. But then again, I don't know how it would work in that case. And it's not bad. It works just fine. Um, it's just a little boxy. Here's the Miguron Dramos. I actually really like this knife, um, even though it's not necessarily my favorite blade shape. Um, the fit and, well, I had one little issue, and that's with the inlays. They have a couple little voids here and there, and then the one's kind of coming up a little bit, but I could easily fix that. And I'm still super happy with it. It's so comfortable in the hand. The action is so good. Detent is rock solid. That is one thing. Migoron has got their action down, man. But um, but yeah, this is another great one. Like I said, I do have to re-glue this inlay down, um, which, you know, I know a lot of people would argue you shouldn't have to do that, but I still I'm still liking it quite a bit. Let's look at this clip now. So the clip. Okay, so the clip. Let me just put it in my pocket really quick. So the clip works great in and out of the pocket. Slips in there really nicely. You're not going to have to worry about it chewing up your pockets. It's nice and smooth. Um, the one thing, though, is there is quite a bit hanging out. That's the one downfall. So 
Some people love that. Some people don't. So that's a preference thing. If you like a super deep clip, you're not going to like this. But if you don't mind having something to grab onto and yank, because sometimes you like having something you can securely yank in and out of your pocket. In this case, you definitely have that, but it's not going to be deep. But all in all, um, I do like this knife quite a bit. I love the blade shape. I love the grind. It does get down pretty thin behind the edge, but yet still robust enough to handle some tough tasks. The clip point here is somewhat like a, a 940 blade shape or um, a Contigo blade shape. And I really love that blade shape. It works so good for EDC. The, the handle is nice and neutral, so it should work in just about everybody's hand. Like I said, I do have a little bit of a separation there, but I can easily close that gap. So this is going to work good for large hands or even medium-sized hands. Um, the It is a little bit squared off and blocky, but yet that also adds to the comfort and distributes the pressure evenly across your palm if you're going to do push cuts or slicing, which is a good thing. Now, the access to the lock bar is really good. The drop is super smooth. I love the thumb starts and the access to them. Very easy to manipulate. Now, the flipper tab, not my favorite flipper tab, right? Nice landing zone, and it works just fine, but it's a little squared off. I, I don't like the corner of it. I do wish there was something there, but like I said, still easy to use, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I can get really good snappy action out of it. Um, access to the lock bar is really good. They didn't really cut it down any, but they, the way they chamfered it, it works just fine. Uh, T6 hardware, don't like that. Want that to be T8s. Jimping on the spine, not that effective, but I don't really need it though. So that's not that big of a deal. The edge of the spine, um, this coating actually kind of softens everything up a little, softens everything up a little bit. So the edge is not sharp at all, but it's also not crowned or anything like that. But I do like this coating. I'm curious how durable it's going to be. I'm not sure exactly what the coating is. If I had to guess, I, I'm guessing it's a titanium nitrate coating um, or whatever it's called, which is a pretty durable coating. So um, I do like the little polished pop of the thumb studs and the pivot um the clip you know it would have been cool if it was blue too but it doesn't need it not bad um another thing you know the clip is not that deep in the pocket so you are missing cool i mean it's quite a bit hanging out there now some people love that some people like having the ability to slip it in and out of the pocket and have a good grip on it so you're definitely going to have that with this but when you're walking around, it is going to be hanging out of your pocket quite a bit. But like I said, that gives you quick access to it. Backspacer looks pretty cool. Everything's lined up really nicely. Nice little bit of jimping back there. These lines are not on both sides, but it doesn't look off-putting to me. So I don't really mind it so much. Does it offer traction? Eh, not really. Um, this coating kind of, you know, it's a slicker coating, but yet, Adds a little bit of tackiness um, to an extent. Lots of milling on the inside, so for the size of the knife, it's got a good weight to it. Um, I think it's cool. I'm appreciating it. I, I'm really excited to use it. It feels very solid, just like a solid workhorse of a knife, and that's what I love about it. I think this is a this could be a great knife. Um, I don't want to say a one-and-done knife, but it could be a great knife for somebody that functions really good, very versatile. And it's in, you know, premium steel, M390 steel. So as long as the, the, the heat treat is good, we should get good edge retention. So um, hopefully they're running their M390 pretty good. Now, the, the M390 I have tested from them was decent. It didn't do bad. Um <clears throat> It didn't feel spectacular by no means. Um, I'd love to see them run run their M390 at like 63 HRC. That would be amazing. But, you know, sometimes, you know, I don't know. I, I, I could wish all I want. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, but 63 HRC with M390, that's amazing. Even if they're running it at like 62.5, that'd be great. I'm guessing they're probably running it between 60 and 61. Um you know, which is still okay, but, it, you know, it, it doesn't lead to an optimal, 
you know, it doesn't lead to the to the long lasting edge retention that we love in M three ninety when it is heat treated at an optimal range. M um, three ninety takes a really really good edge regardless the edge you want to put on it. I noticed the better the heat treat, the more likely you are to get a great polish on it. But it usually takes a pretty good polish regardless, um, just whether or not it holds it really well. I would sharpen this probably uh, since I have a good enough. Uh, uh, spot here i'd probably put this at like between 15 and 17 degrees per side personally and you know just lay back that angle really nice but if i did want to use it as a hard use knife i would keep it between 17 and 20 degrees but if i want to make an extra slicey between 15 and 17 degrees it'd make a nice big edge bevel and with you know with the coating and everything it, it'd look really really nice and i'd probably do it at a fine grit probably between three and five thousand grit and if i did not get the significant amount of bite i'd want from it which i would because at that angle your the bite really comes out you know because it's so keen but if for some reason like i started using it and it lost its bite really quick and got slick i would drop it down to about a thousand grit between 600 and a thousand grit uh but anyways really cool um, I'm really excited to test this one. So let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the look of it? How do you guys think it looks? I love the way it looks. You know, just it looks, I hate to use the word tactical, you know, but it, it looks like a good user. It looks like something that, that could definitely withstand, you know, a, a lot of, I don't want to say torture, but it, could, it definitely could withstand a lot of work. So we'll see how it goes. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.